is Dr. Ryan Atkins with the Atkins Academy. Just wanted to take a moment to let you know a lot of people really underestimate what they can do in one year. In one year, you could be a registered nurse. So I can help you to certainly get past the T's test, get past your prerequisites, help you get into nursing school, and within one year, become a registered nurse. Get to the next level, get into the hospital, start becoming a travel nurse, making $250,000 a year. And then after that, I want to partner with you. I want to take the opportunity to partner with you so that we can both do apartment complex deals, multifamily real estate deals. I'll show you exactly how we do it. Massive deals, and that one deal can change your life. Let's start by getting into nursing school, and then let's become partners on multiple different apartment deals. Let's do it. Okay, and so what you're looking for is or. And so or means either this or that, but not both, right? So you can either have this or you can have that, but you can't have both, right? And so given that, um, you can have um, that, or you can have these, but you can't have both, okay? And so in the context of, um, of this, uh, uh, this particular scenario, you'd have to go with the subject closest to the verb. And so the subject closest to the verb would be these, and so therefore you'd have to have a plural uh, verb there, right? Because it goes with a plural subject, right? Whenever you have or, okay? Um, likewise. If you had uh, these or that, you'd have to go with the subject close to the verb. So the subject close to the verb is that, and so therefore you'd have to go with the singular verb. Right, make sense? And so this is the case with, with for example, either or, neither nor, but also the use of or. Right, and so if you have, um, so if you have either or, right? So um, either or, I'll put it over here. So either or, uh, neither nor, but also the use of or. Okay, so anytime you have either, any of those, especially at the beginning of the sentence, right? Um, then you'd have to go with the subject closest to the verb, right? And so if you have either or, neither nor, or just use of or. All right, makes sense. Okay, and so. And so is it, um, and so they'll, you know, I've, I've, I've um, you know, try and challenge you on, on, on this as well, but let's go back to, uh, let's go back to question number, um, let's go back to question number, um, question number four here. All right. So the question number four here within the sentence, what is the, so, so, so when we look at our answer choices, okay. So question before we look at our answer choices, um, we see that these are all subjects, so they've given us subjects, okay? And we have, to, we have to choose the subject that is supposed to fit in here. So what is the verb that is going to dictate the subject that we choose? So what is the verb that is going to dictate the subject that we choose? So what is the verb that's gonna dictate the subject that we choose here? Okay, Tori, you like answer choice A? I got you. Okay. Okay, point. Okay, anyone else? <clears throat> okay, drives. Okay, drives. Okay, Michael, do you agree with that? Is it point? Is it drives? Is it behavior? Is it market? What is, uh, okay, so drives. Okay, now drives. Okay, so drives is absolutely correct. Now drives, is that is that drives, is that singular or is that plural? Right, so drives, is that plural or is that singular? So drives, so is that plural or is that singular? So we, are we calling that singular or are we calling that plural? Okay. Okay, so if we said drivers as in the noun, then we're indicating that we have multiple drivers, right? But if we say drives as in the verb, then we're saying that that would be a singular verb, right? We would say he drives the car, she drives the car, but they drive the car. And so in the context of this, drives is singular as a verb. So singular verbs have an S, whereas plural verbs do not have an S. Okay, and so given that um, we need a singular, we have a singular verb here, so therefore we need a singular subject to go with it, right? Make sense? And so right off the bat, we can we, once we understand what type of question we're dealing with, and I obviously, like I said, look at your answer choices, right? Then we can say, okay, well, and is automatically out. So and is automatically out because and would, may, would mean that we would have to have a plural uh, verb, 
to go with this uh, plural subject, right? And so the, especially the subjects together, okay? Um, all right, and so, so with that then, um, or, we're looking at or. So either this or that, but not both, okay? So either this or that, but not both, okay? And so numbers is plural, and so since numbers is plural, we would have to have a plural verb to go with the plural numbers, right? Make sense? And so whereas trend is singular, and so this would give us a singular um, uh, subject that would have to go with a singular verb. So anytime you have either or, neither nor, or just use of or, you have to go with the subject closest to the verb. In this case, trend is singular and it is closest to the verb, and we, we already have in place, well, we cannot change a singular verb. Right? So therefore, answer choice B is the only possible answer here. All right? Makes sense? And so it's not about what sounds good or what looks good. It's about what's correct based upon the grammar rules. you got to focus on that. All right, any questions there?